This introduction to oral cavity was created by Head and Neck Cancer Australia for the benefit of patients and families affected by oral cancer. The oral cavity or mouth contains many different structures. These include the upper jawbone, also known as the maxilla, the lower jawbone, also known as the mandible, and the gums and teeth, the hard palate, inside of the cheeks called the buccal mucosa, and the area behind the wisdom teeth called the retromolar trigone, the front two-thirds of the tongue, and the floor of mouth. The oral cavity is important for talking, tasting, chewing and swallowing food. The tongue is the most important structure for all of these functions. If the tongue cannot move properly, then talking and eating can be affected greatly. This can happen if the cancer grows into the tongue muscle. Cancer that starts anywhere in the oral cavity is called oral cancer. The most common symptom of oral cancer is an ulcer or lump in the mouth that doesn't heal. Some mouth cancers are painful, but most are painless. They can cause problems with chewing, swallowing, speaking or difficulty opening the mouth. If the gums are affected, teeth can become loose or dentures may no longer fit properly. Another common sign is a white or red patch inside the mouth, which can be cancerous or precancerous. These symptoms may not be due to oral cancer. However, if you have any of these symptoms for more than a few weeks, talk to your doctor so that problems can be diagnosed and treated as early as possible. Oral cancer can sometimes spread into the lymph nodes, causing a lump to appear in the neck. Lymph nodes are bean-shaped glands in the neck that are part of the immune system's defence against infection. Oral cancer is generally treated with surgery. Many patients receive a combination of treatments, including radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Depending on the size and the location of the cancer, your specialist will suggest treatment options that are suitable for you.